What's up guys, Stan here from Gamerable, and today I'm going to teach you how to have this trippy kaleidoscope effect in OBS. It's unbelievably easy to do, and I'm going to teach you guys to do this so quick. It's, it's crazy. Let's get started. All right, here we go. So first thing we need to do is create a new scene. All right, so we're just going to do, where is it? Add. There it is. Add scene. Bam. Blank scene. All right, nothing here yet but there will be. So first thing we need to do is add a display capture. No, excuse me, a uh, video capture device. You wanna add yourself and then the display capture. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do both of those. All right, and uh, with both of them, as you add them, res resize them to fit the screen as needed. Okay, so that one's pretty good. Let's add a new one, uh, display capture. Here we go. I'm gonna add my uh, monitor that the, uh, that OBS is on. All right, so make sure it's the same one that OBS is on. Now, the next thing we need to do is also resize this one, just like I said. All right, and uh, this one uh, we're resizing mostly so we can have something to work with here. So here we go. Uh, now, the next step is really important. What we need to do is hold down the Alt key and uh, drag from the sides like you're going to resize it, but what it's really doing is you can turn it green and it's gonna crop away uh, what you leave behind, okay? So we're gonna crop away the interface of OBS and Windows. And you're starting to see something kind of come together here. You guys are smart. You've made it this far. Hey, how come my alt button's not working on that? There we go, you guys are smart. You know what's going on. You could, you could probably just figure the rest out yourself from here, but I'm gonna finish this tutorial for those who just need a little bit more help. Now, the next thing you need to do is, uh, again, resize your uh, center monitor or uh, your uh, display capture excuse me for me it's center monitor and uh, just kind of get it to fit in there a little bit now uh, it looks like it's not working and that's because your video capture needs to be above the display capture very important uh, it, with this effect it's very important the order of things now as you can see we're already starting to get that crazy collide of kaleidoscope effect so this is what it kind of does when um, it's just it's not stretched or anything like that the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, just a couple more tricks uh, arm you with some techniques so you guys can make your own creations and your own things uh, if when you hold down the shift key what it does is it starts stretching the the uh, uh, picture here now I want to actually work with the center monitor here we go we're going to stretch this uh, display capture out a little bit on both sides equally. You see that? And I'm also going to stretch it down a little bit just to give it kind of like a downward effect. There we go. So if you, it just kind of, you can, you could uh, incentivize which direction this thing kind of goes in. You know, you can control it a little bit by stretching it around and moving it around. You know, like just by moving it around, just simply you get these crazy effects. Now, one of the things uh, you're noticing is probably those green lines. I'm going to show you how to get rid of that if you're having that problem, especially when you switch over to a scene. So there's still a couple more things we need to do. Uh, and also, here's a little thing I learned. Watch this. It'll just remember the last color that was up there. See that? Now it's going to just kind of be a little bit pink and green. Let's get rid of more of that green. There we go. So it, it just, I don't know, like you could work with this thing there's still so much stuff to it's a it's a it's a goof you know it's a goof up it's not really meant to be this way but it is and people are using it so we'll see what happens in the future what you guys create create with this so the next thing we want to do uh very important is we need to add uh a kind of like a throwaway source okay so i'm gonna add um since i like to have my game volume follow me in the scenes that I switch to. I'm going to add another uh, video capture device. I'm going to throw my Elgato in there, okay? Now, what's going to happen when I throw the Elgato in there? It's going to be in the way, and uh, we don't want it there. So we're going to move it over here. There we go. Okay, so it's out of the way, and now when if we switch scenes, so I'll switch to the uh, my trippy stand mode scene, and bam, so here's you know my trippy stand mode. Whoa, I've got all this stuff going on, right? Um, and as you can see, my Elgato on the left over here is the thing that was selected. When you switch source, switch scenes, Elgato chooses the top source as the default one to be selected. It has to have something selected, so it always starts off at the top. 
And it'd be a shame if you have like alerts or something in the middle of your screen and then you have keep getting this red box every time you hotkey over to your scene. So you want your top scene to be something that's throwaway. Uh, and in my case, I actually need the volume from it. So I'll, instead of just making a, a textless text source, I'm, uh, I'm using something that I actually need and it just, it doesn't need to be in the picture. So I'll, I'll use Elgato. It's on the side. I'm getting the volume from my computer. Hopefully I don't get any like notifications or anything right now. And, uh, uh there we go. Now, um, uh, let's go back to our scene and I want to show you guys, uh, one more thing that you can do, uh, on my scene, you saw a kind of like a beach in the background, right? I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, I'm going to add a new image. So all you do is you could just use like a GIF, right? And uh, I already have one that I just got on Friday when I was working on my stream. Here we go. Uh, it's a fog GIF. I really like this fog GIF. It's really cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pull this all the way out so it's full screen. There it is, right? And it looks really cool just by itself. But we could do some more things with it. Uh, one of the things I kind of messed around with is changing the opacity uh, with a uh, color correction, okay? And as you can see, so I could turn it all the way up and, not, and have 100% opacity. And... Uh, I could just drop it like behind myself, right? But then we don't get that effect anymore. So the way that you want it to work is you put it in front of yourself and you give it that opacity, all right? That, it's really important that you do that. So we're going to drop down the opacity just like that, you know, around like 20 or something like that, just kind of guessing. And now you can have that GIF effect interact with you. It will kind of cover you up a little bit. That's why we turn the opacity way low, but with the black background, it works really well. So here we now, you know, I have the effect and all this, you know, whatever. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, if anybody has any cool ideas and you'd like to share them, like, uh, you know, you could share your clips from your, your Twitch stream so we could see some of your, the ideas that you've done. Feel free to link them down below. Uh, also, like, subscribe really helps me out and uh, I'm going to be putting out more OBS videos in the future with stuff that I figure out on my own journey. I'll just turn them in the videos for you guys. Uh, and it <laughs> helps retain the knowledge from myself when I have to sit there and figure it out. But with that said, uh, I'm Stan from Gamerable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If I could just get this stupid thing...